At the time, you think you're going to love these people forever. But that's the thing about love, isn't it? Sometimes love can be like a flower pressed between the pages of a book. You stick it between the pages, leaving the scent behind and the petals imprinted against the paper. Then you forget about it, and then one day you open the book, quite by accident, and the scent reminds you why you love the flower all over again. But by then, it's just a dried flower. In a sense, it's no longer real. It's a kind of accidental love, the kind of love that was dependent on all these variables that came together in the perfect moment, a serendipitous kind of love that slipped into a pocket of time. That is the strangest thing about love. How it can come and how it can go, like someone slipping in and out of the room when they think their lover is asleep. but I'm beginning to realize that maybe you can't force love. And that maybe you can't always tell which love it is. If it's the type that will leave you when you're sleeping, or if it will slip its calling card in your mailbox and leave loopy scrawls all over your smile. Sometimes I think about how maybe that's the same thing. Sometimes I think that love takes pride in finding us in the creases in our lives in forgotten books and in familiar handwriting, in fragments and pieces. Love hides itself in the imperceptible moments, dares us to gamble our hearts in a game where the prize is something that every poet writes about. We are such foolish players, we humans. But in the end, we play the game well.